All right, let's say you just downloaded LAMP Words for Life and you need to copy a vocabulary before you can use it because we have to have them locked from the factory so you can't uh, delete those or change them so you can always go back to a default setting. So when you hit vocabulary, choose new, you'll notice that yours will look like this where there's only four or five of them working. One, two, three, four, five. So you got the one hit, the transition to full, and then you get the Spanish uh, one hit and full. You have to copy one of these before you can use it. So this is how you do it. I'm going to start over at the beginning just because this is how you copy a vocabulary. You hit vocab, choose new. Then you go over here where it says menu. And the fourth one down says copy a vocabulary, which makes perfect sense. So you touch that. And then it says, which one of these do you want to copy? So I'm going to hit the one hit. Now you get to give it a title. I'm going to call mine JH for my name, John Halloran, one hit. You could do a description, but you don't have to if you name it right. And you'll see it dates it. It says modified June 28th, 2021 at 5, 19 p.m. So that's it. There, I copied it. Now let's just do it one more time. Vocab, choose new. I want to copy this full vocabulary. So now I hit menu, copy a vocabulary, pick the full, name it something you can remember. And I like to use a little description of it so I don't have to do that part. And now you'll see I have JH full and I have JH one hit and I have the time they were done. Now one nice thing to think about is, could you copy one of the kids' vocabularies or maybe that an adult you're working with? Well, you sure can. So let's say JH full is John's vocabulary. And we've made changes to it. We've added words. And we want to kind of make a backup internally. One thing you could do is you could go to vocab, choose new. Then you could go back to menu again and do copy vocab one more time. But this time, look, instead of doing one of these, you can go down here and say JH full. And now you can date it or something. You could name, name this 6-21 or something. And you wouldn't really have to do that because it dates it for you, but this would give you a way to name, give it a backup name. But if you pay attention to the time and date on there, you wouldn't worry about it as much. Okay, that's how simple it is to copy a vocabulary. I hope that makes sense. And when you, when you get it from the factory, they're all locked. So you have to turn it into one of these unlocked padlocks so that you can make changes and use vocabulary builder and that sort of thing. I hope that does help you.